Hey guys, Walker from Page Games here today with one of our sponsored players. Tell us what, who you are and what you did today. Uh, I'm Tom. I got second place in uh, the finals and in Swiss. To uh, to uh, I lost to David in the finals because he just kind of went off with Monster Gate and uh, yeah, he Monster Gated down to five cards in his deck with Inferno. It's pretty good. All right. And what'd you play today, Tom? Uh, I have played um, Orcus Surprise. You know me, and I've played this deck since it kind of came out. Right. Well, let's get into this deck profile. Um, playing the pure variant, which is three harp, three nightmare, three brass. This card's really good, except I kept drawing multiples of it. Uh, I had one game where I opened that with um, one for one, and then just kind of sat on that, and we played Link Karibo beat down that game. Ooh. Ended up winning it um, <laughs> because this game play, this deck plays enough starter cards. You play two skeleton. I think that's kind of standard in this build. Uh, the one one uh, Gizmek, because that's in my opinion part of the Orcus engine now. Um, then we got five copies of the same card. Uh, this is essentially the same card. Um, these send everything, and then Grefory, you just need a card in hand to send everything. Um, but this is really good if you open, like, Wand or Nightmare. Um, something, if I was going to a regional, like, soon, I probably wouldn't play this, because a lot of people are playing Control. Um, this uh, did not come up once tonight. Uh, and I basically side it out every time. Uh, your standard best hand trap in the history of the game Ash um, might switch up the hand trap ratio instead of Nibiru, kind of play Phantasme. Then we got three orchestrated return, it's returning to the deck. Uh, if you played Orcus when it first came out, this was like a one of, it was like cute, and then everybody realized it kind of sucked, and now the card's just the nut again. Um, courtesy of Walker, we got the three ulti instant fusions. The bling bling. Um, this card's still really good. You just make a window and protect it with ding, and you just usually win a lot. Um, three cosmic cyclone. This card's really good going first or um, game one. Um, I think it's better than twin in the main deck. Uh, we got one foolish, one babble, one one for one. And one Rota, you can play the oh, Armageddon Knight and the Graffer, you play the uh, the, the thing, yeah, the Bombard, that just gets you everything, and Babel's just really, really good. Um, I only play two Impermanence because I loaned out my third, but this uh, probably should be three Imperm uh, and two, uh, two Cosmics. I think that's probably the correct ratio if you're trying to stick at 40. And then the one of Crescendo because this card's just ridiculous and Orcus. Um, extra deck. Three Galatea. I think that's pretty standard. If you're not playing three Galatea in this deck, you're not playing pure Orcus. Two Ding. Two is, is Ding. This card's just still insane. Long Gear Sue. After teetering through like two formats with this deck, this card's like insane. Um, we got one Orcustrion. Will he be in this deck lineup once I uh, really sit down and look at KS Impact cards? Because uh, I really want to play that LP card. Um, and this might get cut simply because if you can make a, a, a Link 4, you're probably just making that one anyway and going for game. Um, same thing with this one. It might get cut for the LP. Because um, I really haven't made this since I've been playing uh, played BA Orcus, which was essentially Bomber Turbo. Trisbana didn't make it tonight, but if I was playing again, like I said, LP, like that card makes just about everything live. Uh, Unicorn, that card's really good. Uh, it's also a dark, so you're not locked into it. Phoenix. I don't think I summoned this tonight. I don't think I summoned half of this extra deck tonight. Uh, Link Karibo. Um, some people say you play Almirage uh, because you play Bombard and they're like, oh, Almirage is better, but this has synergy because I am playing the Instant Fusions with Thousand Measure Strict. And then here's your win button a lot of times. Uh, Winda, still best girl. 
Still best girl, even though we're getting that alternate art? Uh, still best girl, dual alliance, first eds, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the way to go. Um, this side deck is probably going to be completely different in the next like week or so. Um, I just haven't really played locals in a couple weeks because I've been busy. Uh, but we got three of your standard big, big beatdown dino. Three Lancia. This card is, I think, the hand trap of the format. Um, I was playing three Gamma Seal. To be completely honest, I'm not sure why, because nothing really, really scares me enough that I can't out with a ding that would require Gamma Seal. Like, I'm not sure how Striker plays against this deck quite yet, um, this format. And Thunder, usually, you don't have a problem as long as you're smart about playing around Super Poly. Um, everybody plays the back row. So you, I just side three more Twisters. Um, just to have extra hate, depending on your matchup, too, if you'd rather have that than Cyclone. And then I think this could kind of come back again. Um, especially if you need, know your opponent's playing like impermanence and a lot of like traps like that. Um, Red Re Reboot is still a really solid card. Um, unfortunately, I did see two of them one game and it did absolutely nothing. Um, like I said, I'm probably gonna go back and revisit this 15 card side deck because I didn't really care for it much tonight as the event went on I was like I'd rather have had played this card all right all right and what any shout outs for you today Tom? Uh, obviously team golden age and Patriot games uh, pretty awesome store out here in Odessa Texas uh, I guess I'll give a shout out to my teammates Adam uh, Dylan showed up David got the win you got this bum over here Calvin Playing Bujin. Playing Bujin <laughs> in 2019 against this other bum that I beat in Top Cut. Um, I guess I'll give a shout out to Walker for being here. Leo the... For being Leo and Cam for... Well, Leo and Cam for allowing me a place to come play test a lot uh, when I'm really bored at night. All right. Well, thank you for that, Tom. And this is Patriot Games signing out.